Okay, my friends, welcome back to this playthrough of Dragon Quest 3, the HD 2D remake. Uh, I had a little bit of a shorter session last time, and since we arrived in a new town, there's going to be a lot of conversations and that kind of thing. I decided to wrap things up, but I am back. Just want to say it has been a few days since I launched episode 1 and episode 2, and the response has been, like, really good. Much more than I expected. So thank you all so much. I'm glad so many of you kind of supported and tuned in. And I already have a lot of people that are Final Fantasy heads who are starting to ask me, like, how much further have you played? Uh, it's looking good so far. I'm starting to feel a bit of FOMO. I want to get in on it. What do you think? And in general, I've just said, no, I'm not further along. I've played about two and a half hours at this point. Give me a little bit more time. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far, then it's probably relatively safe to go for it. But I think unless you're fully ready to pull the trigger, just give it a little more time or watch uh, another channel if they've gone much further than I have, which at this stage, I'm sure many a channel has and then make your minds up. But it's nice to see the enthusiasm from the Fire Fantasy community. I honestly don't know if there is a bit of a, like a narrative of like, I don't know, Final Fantasy fans versus Dragon Quest fans and like, they don't like each other. I don't hang out in those corners of the internet, so I don't know about this stuff. But I don't know how competitive it is between them. Um, and I think for me, it just never mattered. I'm just like, I'd like to try Dragon Quest someday. If it's good, it's good. I, I really don't care about these kind of things. And so I'm hoping that my community is by and large the same. And so if we love Dragon Quest as well and Final Fantasy at the same time, happy days. It's better for us. <laughs> so, yeah. But so far, at least, the response seems to be very good. Um, and the reviews, I think it's sitting on an 85 on Metacritic from critic reviews at the moment, which is definitely very solid, um, considering it is a remake of like a 35-year-old game. Uh, and still in the 2D HD format, so it's pretty loyal to how it was uh, when it released, I assume. Okay, let's start talking to some people and see what's up in Reef. <sighs> ah, it's no good, it won't budge. There's a nice bit of voice acting to start the sesh. Can I help? I mean, there's, there is four of us. There are four of us. Fine. But yeah, a lot of people really dig in the art style as well, so it's nice to see that um, I'm definitely not alone in that. A lot of people enjoying it uh, and the look. And definitely saying, hey, like I could see this definitely working for some of the old school Final Fantasy stuff. Like a lot more games should be made in the style. I know it can be easy to panic if you're unlucky enough to get poisoned by a monster, but as long as you've got an antido antidotal herb to hand, you'll be right as rain in no time. It's also worth remembering that being poisoned doesn't make a jot of difference whilst you're fighting. Just wait to cure yourself till you've taken care of foes, I say. Hmm. Interesting. Regardless, make a point of always having some antidotal herbs to hand and you'll be fine. So maybe that only affects you during traversal, like outside of battle? That's weird. Won't make a, a difference while you're fighting. So obviously these are the types of mechanics we're just going to have to get used to and try our best to not assume too much from obviously the the endless Final Fantasy experiences I've had over the years. I think I can make assumptions like poison is a bad thing. <laughs> I think I'm pretty safe in saying that but obviously in terms of how it manifests it could definitely be different. Um, let's see. Really enjoying the music, just as I suspected that I would. Funny, isn't it, how martial artists actually get weaker if you give them a sword or a spear to wield? Suppose they spend so much time training with their fists that they don't know the first thing about blades and spears. Something to keep in mind if you ever meet a martial artist. That's some good information, thank you. You lot of travellers, are you? Oh, here from Aliahan, eh? Don't tell me you've come looking for a wrecking ball, too. Honestly, what is so good about these things that people go traipsing around the countryside looking for them? Is this a red door? It is. Okay, so we can go in there. A seed of stamina. I am surprised we're getting this many uh, seeds. I'm going to continue my logic of just giving them to wonder. Um, because I still, I just, the I think as time goes on, one of the main things I want to check out is how is my party going to change? Do I keep the same name? So it's still like Nikolai, Dorothy, and Nelson, but I change their jobs potentially, or I bring in completely new people? We'll find out. Wonder where that lad came from anyway. Where's the chocobos at? 
We just got plain old horses. What a crap game. Heard the one about the bag that walked into an inn in Reeve. No, too bad. He he he. The one about the bag that walked into an inn at Reeve. Speak to the horsey. Gives us a little whinny. Good stuff. Music's really nice. So before I head into the red door, I just want to try and finish up all of my NPC interactions. It's quite a few of them. Have you ever noticed how some item shops sell clothes and hats too? Just goes to show you may as well take a look in every shop in town if something specific you're after. So yeah, definitely, I think it's it's like an early JRPG thing, especially it seems, where so much of your gameplay and the runtime is really about just exploring around and talking to people and going to shops and menu time and all of that stuff. That feels very like classic uh, JRPG. It's something I've definitely embraced over the years. Obviously, I came from a more modern era where I feel like that takes up less of the time. There's a lot more like cinematics and like, you know, dialogue and story progression and all of that kind of stuff. Like things feel a little bit differently set up. But I do, I, I have come to enjoy the style for sure. I once had this martial arts friend who refused to go into battle without his trusty pair of claws. Said he always felt weak without them. They're a bit hard to get your hands on though, if you pardon the pun. <laughs> so some talk about martial artists for sure. But how many party members can we have? I think it was four that was the maximum, right? So uh, They're all what remains of adventurers like you, who just weren't lucky enough to make it home. Well, mostly anyway. Some of it's probably just gear some geezers dropped, innit? Okay, so now it's time to check out the buildings. How are we doing? Oh yeah, we most certainly could do with the rest. Eight gold coins, well. What if we just do rest a while this time? Does it really matter? I guess certain things maybe happen only at certain times, so it might be interesting. Okay. Yeah. Back up to speed. And we have a red door we can go into. Excellent. They say there's some kind of sacred spring way off over the mountains to the southeast, southeast of the village. Apparently, all the great heroes would make a point of visiting it before setting off on their quests. Good to know. Seed of magic, so it's still going. I feel like Wanda's not going to be that much of a magic guy. So maybe like the magic one I won't give to him, but... Over the mountains to the southeast of the village. To bear that in mind. Another kiddo. What you saying, little guy? You have to promise me you'll kill lots and lots and lots of monsters. They, they got my mummy and daddy. All right, we'll do it, kid. For you. Get revenge. So I am curious about the first boss battle. Obviously, I've been taking it pretty slow here. And I do think the game builds you up pretty slowly towards your first boss fight. Um, it's much more focused on just setting the, the game up and the story and the mechanics and that kind of thing, the party. Um, but I'm really looking forward to hopefully meeting our first uh, boss in this session. Do you ever happen upon all sorts of bits and bobs while exploring the realm? Why, I myself have found countless edible herbs, pieces of forgotten gear, and even the odd treasure chest from time to time. Gifts from the goddess, I say. Better they serve someone than go to waste, eh? Okay. One quick thing I want to have a look at. Uh, I feel like my brightness is a little too high. Well, not zero. I just want to bring it down like the... The face just seems overexposed. I guess that's just how the lighting is here. Maybe it's supposed to be HDR or something. Like when the sun hits, it gets overexposed, but I guess that's just, that's the aesthetic. Yeah, I'll just go down like a couple of points, but that's it. Okay. Um, now. If you spot something suspicious when you're out wandering, nine times out of ten it'll be something interesting. So don't gawk from afar. Get up close and investigate. Go. 
All right, let's do the red, the red door first. So this is going to be the general flow when we reach these villages. Definitely going to be a lot of exploring. Talk to the NPCs. Try to check out every place. Whoa. That's a big pot. Enough to fit the entire party. A suspicious looking liquid is bubbling away in a big pot. Seed of wisdom. So yeah, we picked up like three seeds already. Maybe four. Oh. I saw something flash. I don't know if it was... I think it's just, yeah, it's the pot. Alright, another old sage boy. Ooh. Cool. Okay. What are you doing in here? I could Whoops, I forgot that I'm not skipping the dialogue. <laughs> um, I could have sworn I locked the front door. Did you find a key somewhere or something? You trespassing so-and-so? Was that the thief's key? My goodness, to get your hands on that, you'd have to be... You are, aren't you? You're Ortega's child, the one we've heard so much about. Oh, my. Then I'd better give you a little something to help you on your way. Now, where do I put it? <laughs> there you go. There's the wrecking ball. You can use that to break the seal on the teleportal. Once you're feeling suitably prepared, make tracks for a spring to the east of Aliahan. But be careful with that ball now. Those things go off with an almighty bang. And good luck. You'll definitely be in need of it. Ah, uh, but to think that you will never again lay eyes on the great Ortega. Your mother puts up a strong front, but deep down she's sorely racked with grief. Be sure to head home from time to time and show her that all is well. Will do. Thank you, old guy. must steal yourself yeah okay i'm gonna try to make a, a note of doing that so we need to head to the spring as well i did wonder if it was elia han or elia han he called it elia han just didn't know i still i think i like elia han better i'm always torn about han versus han when i'm pronouncing those things but han feels more like u.s pronunciation but sometimes i just feel like it sounds better the good old pronunciation wars time to experience it in a brand new franchise and just butcher everything and trigger off endless debates diary of a hard man one to put the copy into the item bag cool so i think those are the type of stuff where i guess if you want to potentially shift your personality later on or like you want a party member to change it maybe that's how you do it i'm sure they'll give you some info on it later Say, have you ever heard of the Thieves' Key? I once heard a small bloke. Okay, I guess this is in case you um, came here first. Yeah, okay. Fine. I'm not even sure if I need to spend money on, in the shop right now. I barely use up any items, to be fair. Let's see. Mm. 240 is quite a lot. Dorothy. Wait. Before all that. Uh, he doesn't have any headgear. So I should probably help him with some of that. Also, what can I sell? I don't know if they give you anything that's kind of just like mostly just used to sell nah not really it's not worth selling any of that wards off weaker enemies i think chimera this whole fast travel thing is just very useful so i'd rather just have a few of them 
in case I mess it up. Just put it in the bag. It's got plenty. Right. Uh, I think we're doing pretty well, honestly. So I won't buy any equipment yet. Maybe there's some better stuff at the literal like weapon slash equipment shop. Okay, well that's a more meaningful upgrade. Copper sword. One's nine. Tortoise shell, that's pretty big. <laughs> Lays waste to the wearer's fashion credentials. Brilliant. Right, I think I might buy one of these. Uh, I think it would be nice if Nelson had a better sword. Okay. Now I want to see... What I can sell. So we can't buy this one just yet, but I think we'll we'll leave it for now. So, so I think that's like a fast travel spot. I think other than that we're done. Take a quick look. gonna leave it for now okay so I think for now I'm done continental map they said there's a spring to the southeast the village go to the eastern spring and access the teleportal I think I want to go back to Eliahan first. So to do that, let's get out of here and see if we can kind of run back. Just want to see where I pop out from. Is there a way to like rotate the camera out here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Just want to have a few more battles and stuff. Just, it's not like the longest world map in the world to traverse through. So It's worth a little wander around. Okay, let's get back into this a little bit. I still think those guys are the toughest ones. Yeah, I was enjoying this. Ah, but it's a group, right? Sap. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be nice when we get some... I don't know if we ever end up getting things that hit multiple groups. And uh, Nelson, you try and do that. Nice. Oh wow. Good job, Nikolai. Yeah, we're good. Yep, that's that place. Keep moving. This kid talked about a tree though. That's the one thing I need to double check. Have you seen that huge tree to the west of town? It's managed to go way bigger than anything else in the area.
I mean, I don't know if he means literally in here or you go outside of the town, go to the west. I don't think it's literally in here. No encounters in here as well, thankfully. So I'll have a look here, I'll see if... Well, maybe he's talking about that tree over there, actually. Maybe I missed it. Let's have a look. Okay, now this is what we want to see. I'm going to whoosh these guys. Especially with four of the same. Oh, the boomerang! Sheesh! Damn. Yeah, she might be a mage, but she ain't playing around. The boomerang is sick. Look at that. Wow. Team is smashing it. So, I assume this is the tree. Lots of misses or no damage there. I think we're chilling now. We're pretty OP, I think, for these guys at this stage. Yeah, I guess Dorothy auto attacks everybody. That's so good. Oh my god, I need more weapons like that. Holy shit. Secret spots. The world map is full of secret areas just waiting for someone to discover them. These spots often look a little bit different to their surroundings, so keep an eye out for them on your travels. Stumble upon such a spot and you might find a stash of items or gold coins. If you're lucky, you might find something altogether more special than either of those. Damn! Am I glad I found this place? Ooh. Maybe we find a new friend. Let's see. Divine Dagger. Yes! Let's go. Um, maybe it's worth giving it to him, honestly. Like, Wonder can one-hit KO everything anyway. Yeah, that's a meaningful upgrade. Alright. Hello there. Curses. I must have lost my sack somewhere when I was descending the mountains to the east. I thought things were bad enough when I managed to leave my clothes in that cave to the south. My mind's not what it once was. Neither, <laughs> neither is my wardrobe. Okay, descending the mountains to the east. Yeah, there's no like area map for this one. And I think that's it. I don't think there's too much more to explore of that bit. But that's a nice little find. And again, just shows how much it pays to speak to NPCs. Now, again, make my way back. So it's definitely been a good start. I'm starting to, to get the hang of things a little more now. All right, slime. I think at this stage we can really start to just do this. Wow. Not getting a lot of gold coins though, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, the coins are Pretty slow. That was one of the reasons I wanted to fight, just so I had a little more money, but it doesn't seem necessary now. To go around the front, or the side, I guess. Okay. Back to Leahan, nice. So there were definitely some things that I couldn't previously access because I didn't have the key. Yeah, we also have mini medals, so I need to go to the well. So there's a few little things building up here. Uh, I think I want to just start with the castle, though. See what we can do here. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of rooms. Okay, some have blue doors. Unfortunately, the one with the, the juicy chest is a blue door. But this one is not. I've been working here in Leohan Castle for 10 years now. I wanted to become a royal scholar, but I failed the blessed exam. I heard those who passed were given a special book that made them extra clever too. Curse my luck. Hmm. Fire of Unsealant. I think that's it for now. Um, there was at least one or two more things I think in the castle that I can unlock. Should be one on the other side, I think. It's a bit hard to track where the entrance is to certain bits, so you have to go all the way around, I think, for that one. Let's do that. But there was a red door here as well, which I'd forgotten about. Ah, okay, you're a scientist looking guy. I recall reading somewhere that the seal placed on the teleportal could be broken by means of a wrecking ball. Someone's researching wrecking balls, weren't they? Ah, yes, of course. It was that old fellow from Reeve. So we're, we're a little bit ahead of the curve here. I guess depending on which path you take, maybe some people come back here first before moving on to Reeve. Rousing ring. Nice. Let's have a look. He's got one accessory. What's the second one do? Okay. Prevents his wearer from being sent to sleep. That's pretty nice. But I'm going to still invest the most in Wanda out of everybody. But it was cool. Some of my D&D uh, &D squad watched the first episode and they enjoyed the naming of Wanda. For anyone who doesn't know, the D&D campaign is being run by uh, a moderator slash good friend of mine on the channel called Psyche. Uh, he's our dungeon master. And uh, it's basically with my Spirit Unplugged moderator team. Most of us had never played before and Psyche had never um, been a DM before. So we decided to kind of just try it out for the first time uh, together. And it's been, as I say, it's been like two years now or something. We try to play like every... We try to do a session every couple of months or so. Um, so... Like, we haven't had a huge, huge number of sessions, given how long we've been playing for, but it's been a lot of fun, and I've been enjoying it. Keep going. So we had this bit. Let's see if this guy says something different now that we got the key, because he was the one mentioning it. Okay. Oh, Bleed Nick, you're back. Um... Opens any red door, it does. If only I'd have used it to... Ah, what fun plan. Lovely bit of craftsmanship, that, even if I do say so myself. Yeah, made it with these fair hands, I did. Look after it, eh? So let's head a bit deeper here. There's a red key. Well, red door. Some strong medicine. Nice. We are rolling now. Wait, we end up in Dreamer's Tower? Wow, that's interesting. Cool. I don't want to do encounters again right now. Did I... Uh, did I get the key? I don't think I did. I might escape some encounters here. There was, I know there was a red door at the end of that long corridor. But I don't remember if I came back to it after I got the key or not. Ah, that's lame. Right. Um, I think let's just go big here. Dorothy's fine. Let's see if we can start to take these guys out a bit more quickly now. They're, they're definitely a second tier compared to the others. Bush should be enough to get the job done. Wow, one survived. How? 
I was defending that one, that's why. What do we get? 20 experience, nice. Level six, let's go. Cool. Poof. And Nikolai is there too. Nikolai's on a mad one, he's, he's doing really well. 